Okay guys, as you can see, I'm running Free Fire on Bluestacks emulator. Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mihalovi channel. It's time. It's time for you to know about the best Android emulator on earth. I'm talking about Bluestacks. Previously on my channel, I make several videos about different operating system such as Prime OS, Fido OS, Phoenix OS, etc. On those operating system, you can play Android games because Google Play Store is available. And in my opinion, Prime OS do the best job if we're talking about compatibility and optimization of games. Because you just need to install game from the Google Play Store and that's all. You can run it without any problem. For the example, Free Fire. This is very popular game and on Prime OS you can run this game and play on keyboard without any problem. But I find even better solution if you want to play Android games without installing other operating system. And you can install it on any computer which runs on Windows. Bluestacks even supports Mac OS, so if you have MacBook, you can also install this program. Why the Bluestacks is so good and why, in my opinion, this is the best Android emulator which are available on the internet. It is compatible with Windows and Mac OS. You just need to download and install this program on your OS. OS, you can run and play popular games on full screen. Bluestacks well optimized and it gives high performance in most games. And of course, it has nice compatibility with keyboard, even better than Prime OS, in my opinion. If we're talking about Prime OS or Fight OS, in my opinion, those operating systems really do a great job. I think they are probably the best operating system on which Google Play Store is available. But if we're talking about Android emulator, hmm, Bluestacks is on another level. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and install this popular software on your laptop or computer. Also, I will run a few popular games such as Free Fire. All the tests I will do on Lenovo ThinkPad laptop since 2013. This laptop has SSD drive and Intel Core i3M processor of third generation. Its base frequency 2.5 GHz. So let's get started. Okay guys, for the beginning we need to open our browser. In my case is Google Chrome browser. Now you need to type next. Blue stacks and press enter after that you may see this website bluestacks.com you need to click on it all links will be in the description okay we are on bluestacks.com if we scroll down a little bit you may see bluestacks 10 and bluestacks 5. if we click here we can see all version of the program scroll down a little bit and here you may see download a specific version based on your need it optimized for windows 11 64 bit and 32 bit as you can see it support hyper v hyper v is microsoft hardware virtualization product it lets you create and run software version of computer called virtual machine so if you scroll down a little bit you may see blue stacks 5 for Mac OS and message coming soon. But if you scroll down a little bit, you may see Bluestacks 4 and it already available for Mac OS. Today I will try to download Bluestacks 5. I think it will work stable on Lenovo ThinkPad. Click on it and wait until the file will be downloaded on our computer. Oh, it already download, so we need to open the folder where we download our X file. Now we need to run this file and it doesn't matter will you run it as administrator or as a guest. Click on it. Okay, folks, now we need to install this program. Everything is very simple. You can click install now or you can select the place where you want to install your program. But definitely I recommend to leave all the changes and just click install now. 
Now you may see downloading process. It's download some information from the internet. Definitely you need to be connected to the internet because even if you want to install some apps or game, you will need to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Now we just need to wait until the program will be installed on our computer. Installation process begin. Also, if you have some issues or problem in the installation process, you could turn off your antivirus because it can interfere with the installation. So just turn it off and repeat all the process. So guys, we are in the Bluestacks app. First, I recommend you to go to the settings. Bluestacks is currently limited to using one CPU core. To utilize more CPU cores, please enable hardware assistant virtualization. This message is awful. Definitely it's mean that it will only use one core. But don't be afraid, my friend. We can solve this problem easily. For this, we need to close this window and we need to manually enter the BIOS and change this option. We need to enable virtualization. So right now I will show you how to do this without any problem. So guys, I want to remind you that this is Lenovo ThinkPad L430 model and now I need to enter the BIOS. In my situation, to enter the BIOS, I need to turn on the laptop and press F1 key. Probably you may press another button, it all depends on your model. You can check how to do it correctly in the Google. So I will turn on the laptop and press F1. Okay, we successfully entered the BIOS. So guys, now I need to find virtualization and enable this option. You may have another BIOS, don't worry about that. BIOS can be different, but actually they have the same options in most cases. I need to go to the security. After that, I find virtualization. Press enter. And as you can see, the option was not activated. So I just need to press enter and enable this option. Press enter. Now I need to restart the laptop, but I need to save all the changes. Exit, save the changes, press enter. Yes. So the laptop will restart. That's all. This is very important option. And now we will see two core enable. So guys, after I enable virtualization on my laptop, even the loading process was much faster. So another time, full screen, go to the settings. So guys, now we don't have any problem. As you can see, everything works correctly. If your system have more than two cores, you can try to click here and select more cores. But definitely my laptop have only two cores and four threads, so I will close this window. After this process, let's run Google Play Store. Click on it. Now we need to sign into our Google account. Click on it. I think at this stage you will not have any problem. You just need to sign to your Google account and after that I will show you how to install games from the Google Play Store. So guys, I signed to my Google account and I stopped screen recording because I want to show you the maximum performance which my laptop can get. Let's try to install Free Fire. Free Fire. As you can see, Free Fire is available in Google Play Store. Just click on it. Now you just need to click install and wait until the game will be installed on your device. So guys, we already installed Free Fire and now I will try to run this game. As I previously said, Bluestacks has nice optimization and probably you can play all games using keyboard. So I will change the camera and let run this game. Click play. I want to remind you that this laptop have SSD drive, 4 GB of RAM and only 2 cores. Ok fellas, I will turn off the sound because I don't want to get copyright claims. Ok, we are in the game. As I previously said, we can press F11 and play game in full screen. Ok guys, as you can see, I'm running Free Fire on Bluestacks emulator using keyboard and surprisingly it works quite well. You can play this game without any problem every key is well optimized as you can see i'm pressing the space bar
In my opinion, this is best emulator which you can find on the internet. If we're talking about operating system, definitely Prime OS and Fido OS is the best. But if we're talking about emulator that optimized for Windows, Mac OS, this is Bluestacks. So you can download and install Bluestacks on your laptop or computer. For the example, this laptop since 2013. I run this game on Intel Core i3 processor of third generation. It have only two cores and four threads, four gigabytes of RAM, and we get such a result. To be honest, I expect to see much worse result, but optimization of the emulator is on the highest level. Also, I forgot to say that this laptop have only integrated video card because some of ThinkPad's laptop have Nvidia GeForce video cards. So it works on Intel HD Graphics 4000. It works without any problem. Oh, what the hell is happening right now? what in the earth i think it will be more than enough so let's try to install another game subway surf i know this game doesn't have high system requirements i just want to figure out will this game work fine on this emulator i run subway surf and right now it works quite good and if you look i'm using different keys this is the first time when i run subway surf and i can use keyboard because on prime os and even on fight os i don't have option for this i can just click on the mouse button so guys i think it will be more than enough as you can see you can play different games on this emulator and it has nice compatibility with keyboard and even with mouse so guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be glad if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.